Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dance Beer Reviews. Going to do a beer by vocation and if you were watching the last review, the vocation triple IPA, you'll know which one I'm going to do. It's the vocation double IPA. And here it comes. Oh! Here it is. This is Hypnosis double IPA weighing in at 8.2% ABV as it says so right there and right there. The batch number is 617 and the best before is the 13th of August 21. It says so there. I love, really, I mean, really love it. I say love, love's a bit of a strong word, but I really like this, this new style kind of that vocation to go for. I think it's brilliant. It just makes a change from the usual stuff with the big letters of what, what it is. Life and death, pride and joy, bread and butter, blah, 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 blah. It just sets itself aside from the core range of beers. Now, vocation already do a double IPA. That's smash and grab. And that, for me, is possibly one of the best double IPAs that you can pick up. It is just beautiful. It works on every level. It's so good. But I think that's 8.5. This is 8.2, so it's slightly toned down a little bit. Even so, we're going to give this a crack. Now, again, can art. Have a look at that. That looks like something's been shot and just exploded as it's been. The pitch has been taken as it's just exploded. Um, hops are, according to the back, hops are Galaxy and Mosaic, BBC and Citra BBC. Allergens are malted barley, wheats and oats. And vocation to say about this beer, hypnosis 8.2, double IPA. A hypnotic, a punchy, double with a powerful and explosive juicy flavour profile. Smooth, multi depths. It complements the, the freshest, biggest hitting hop to create a beer that's mesmerising. Sorry, mesmerisingly Moorish. So we'll uh, give this a go. Let's say it's got Smash and Grab to live up to, and Smash and Grab for me, I think it's brilliant. I really do. So. Let's pop a top and let's see what we've got. Smash and may not be 8.5, Smash and may be 8. But either way, it's got Smash and Grab to live up to. That's definitely a double IPA. I'm just wondering how, how you're going to have two double IPAs of a similar, similar ABV working alongside each other. Anyway, we'll soon find out, won't we? Being a glass, what have we got? That is a beautiful thing. We've got a finger of bright Daz White head. We've got a very hazy fruit juice, concentrated fruit juice looking beer. There is no seeing through that. That is cloudy, solid as you like. A lovely looking beer. Grapefruit juicy looking, pineapple juicy looking, tropical fruit juicy looking. Beautiful thing of beauty. That's an amazing looking beer. Very much smash and grabby. So let's get a nose to it as well. Let's go for it. Again, one of these beers you can just smell all night long. Again, same with smash and grab. I would smell smash and grab all along. It's a lovely, lovely thing. This is oranges, pineapples, grapefruits, hints of tropical stuff. There's a little bit of a little bit of mango in there. Stone fruits definitely are there. That smells great. A little bit of touch of touch of pine, grapefruit peel, touch of bitter maybe. Anyway, let's go for it. Cheers. Budging combination. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Right. So, combination. It's hard to there, to be fair. It's super soft. If it's not soft, it's super light. You may just get a little touch of a fizz right in the back of your palate. Body-wise, body-wise, it's uh, 
medium bodied, bordering on heavy. It's it's it it has a it has a thickness about it, but it wants to be a light beer. It's great. The the the, the body's lovely. Let's go for the big old taste. Cheers. <laughs> okay. It's fruity. It's zesty. It's pithy. It's bitter. It really is bitter. Piney, slightly piney on the very very back end. But it's like it's like raw up front, it's like raw fruit. And maybe a little bit of raw vegetable. Grapefruit, raw, raw unripe mango, certainly raw unripe papaya, certainly there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, stone fruits, there's, there's passion fruit, uh, there's apricot. Otherwise, there's stone fruit, passion fruits, because passion fruit's not stone fruit. Passion fruit's there, definitely. But there's apricot, there's, there's peach, but it's raw, it's unripened peach. But it's bitter. As a, it really is, it's like there's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful bit of finish. Now I'm Vocation's biggest fan, well one of Vocation's biggest fan, I will drink everything they say. That the majority of the stuff that I, that I get from them is great. This misses a little trick for me, it misses a little bit of, again misses a little bit of sweetness and it misses a little bit of citrus, proper citrus fruit. I think for a, for a, for a hint of, a big, uh, a hint, a big hit of orange, this might be, be a better choice, may, may go better with a bit of hint of orange. No sense there. This beer may go better with a hint of uh, a massive hit of orange. And and a, and a better a bigger hit of tropical fruit. Because it's all there. It just needs a little refinement. For me, double IPA wise, smash and grab from vocation is probably a little bit better it's got, it's got that touch of sweetness it, it it appears to be that smash and grab for me has just got that little bit extra work in it you know but even so this is still really really nice it's very very good indeed if I was to rate this beer and I don't rate beers because it's, it's rate being rating them stuff is a little bit controversial. I'd say this is about an eight, eight and a half out of ten. I could drink a few of these quite easily. Um, I like this is a nice dry dryness coming through on the back end that's just cutting straight across my palate. It's good. The question that needs to be asked is how close. To, to smash and grab is this beer mm. it's not far it isn't far I think this is, this is smash and grab with a little less sweetness in it it's good like I say it's good it's tasty blah 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 anyway wrap this up vocations hypnosis double IPA 8.2% do I like it yes would I buy it again I've got one in the fridge so yes I would I am um, would I recommend to friends yes if you've had this beer let me know what you think please put a little comment in the comments box below I'll put a link to the vocation website where you can buy this beer also below the old thumbs up if you like the video thumbs up if you don't 
subscribe down there and hit the bell if you haven't subscribed already. This goes to the recycle because cans are infinitely better. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey Leo, look after yourselves.